Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellie of Digitech Design. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can modify your avatar's dimensions so that you can match your customer. Let's go. We will start by bringing in an avatar that we can further customize. Let's go ahead and select avatar down here at the bottom, select female version two, and simply click and drag the avatar of your choice into the 3D window. Normally, when we do patterns, we create them on the base size of a size range, and that all depends on what your end goal is, whether you're manufacturing or if you're creating something that's a one-off for one customer. So in this case, we're gonna pretend like we're doing a one-off. So if we have a customer who is a 5'6", and 35, 27, 37. Let's go ahead and pick a size that we can get as close as possible. So five, six is pretty average height, so we don't need to pick petite. And note, these are US ASTM sizes. You have different categories of average sizes. Let's just go ahead and pick a Missy Kirby for now. She has a larger waist to hip ratio. So what we wanna do is try to get as close as possible to our customer's size. Now, if you don't know what these are, just start in the middle and take a look at the dimensions and see what we have. Here in the toggle icon, we can turn on the measurements. It's show avatar measurements, and now we can actually view them. So I can simply click on one of these and take a look. And here I'm zooming in so you can see a little bit better. We have a 37.253 inch bust. So it's quite bigger than what we needed. And we can just simply click and see until we get the size we want. 35.24 is quite close. From here, we can further edit this. So up at the top toolbar under avatar, avatar editor, you'll get a pop-up window and it's a form you can fill out. Notice that this form, it has a lot of different points of measurements. You don't really need to fill out every single one of these because Clo will automatically fill it in according to the ASTM data and it's all built in so you don't need to worry about it. But let's go ahead and add the height because we know that it's five foot six. I'm gonna just put 66 and it's gonna automatically update all of these numbers underneath. So the next most important measurement that I have available to me is the bust. So here where it says under bust circumference, I'm gonna click this downward arrow and go to bus circumference so that we can edit that one. Now I'm gonna input 35 and click enter. And again, it's gonna automatically update. And next, we don't have any of this information available to us, but we do have the waist, so let's change that to 27. Notice it says if you change this number, then the size set can no longer be maintained. That's fine because we're only working with a one-off in this case for a specific customer. Now we're going down to low hip and we have 37 here, so let's go ahead and change that and click enter. So now we have an avatar we can save for future use. If you have all the measurements, feel free to input all of them. I find that just the height, bust, waist, and hip are excellent. Clo 3 d can automatically create the rest. Now let's make sure we save this so we can use it again in a future project. We are good with this avatar and we can change the poses of this avatar and maintain the avatar size and just work as we normally would. If you have a specific topic you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.